Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to learn how to form 2D shapes using other 2D shapes. So for example, look at the shape of that man. He has a hexagon on the top of his head. He has a circle as his body. He has a trapezoid for the bottom. And then he has two rectangles for his arms. So let's see what else we can explore. We can make and explore using shapes. So let's start with the square. Can you think of a way to make a square using other shapes? Well, there's a rectangle and two squares. We were able to form the square using a rectangle and two squares. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Let's see if there is another way we can do it. Okay, there's a rectangle and another rectangle. This time, we use two rectangles to form the square. Can you do it in a different way? All right, let's move on to the triangle. Can you think of a way to make a triangle using other shapes? Hmm, there's a triangle, another triangle, and a rhombus. We were able to form a triangle using two triangles and a rhombus. Hmm, let's see if there is a different way that we can do it. That is a trapezoid and a triangle. We can use a trapezoid and a triangle to form a triangle. Look at all these different things that we can do with these shapes. Can you think of another way to do it? All right, let's move on to the rectangle. Hmm, can you think of a way to make a rectangle using other shapes. A square and another square. We were able to form a rectangle using two squares. I wonder if there's another way. Let's take a look. A triangle and another triangle. This time we were able to use two triangles to form the rectangle. Can you do it in a different way? All right, let's move on to the hexagon. All right, can you think of a way to make a hexagon using other shapes? A trapezoid and another trapezoid. We were able to form a hexagon using two trapezoids. Hmm. Can we think of a different way of doing it? A triangle, another triangle, another triangle, and a trapezoid. This time, we used three triangles and a trapezoid to form the hexagon. Hmm, I wonder if we could do it a different way. I wonder if we can replace this trapezoid with three more triangles. And then that way it would be six triangles. <clears throat> can you think of a different way? All right, let's move on to the trapezoid now. Can you think of a way to make a trapezoid using other shapes? <clears throat> and let's think of a way that you can make a rhombus using shapes. I don't know about you, but I think of looking at this shape, I, I see two triangles within that rhombus I see two triangles. I think that would be a good idea. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we can do with a whole bunch of figures. What can you do with a circle, a square, a rectangle, and four triangles? Hmm, let's try it. Wow, that is so cool we were able to make a little man using the shapes. Can you make something different with these shapes? What could you do? 
Okay, let's move on. What can you make with these shapes? All right, so we have six triangles, one rectangle, and two, I'm sorry, we have six circles, one rectangle, and two triangles. <clears throat> hmm. Are you thinking? All right, let's see what we, come, we came up with. I wonder what that is making. Kind of looks like a flower. We can form a flower. And that's a pretty flower. It reminds me of spring and all the flowers blooming with the beautiful weather outside. All right, let's move on and work with some more shapes. What can you make with these shapes? We have six rectangles two triangles in one circle. Hmm, let me think. <clears throat> that looks like a head to me and a body and a tail and some legs. Look, we were able to make a kitten. Wow, look at that. So what are you going to do with these shapes today? I want you to keep practicing at home with these shapes. What are you going to build? Fantastic friends. I hope you had a great time exploring and, and learning and practicing with all these shapes today and have a great day.